serious mistake. Um, and he just has a lot of good... He's got good... Ray has a really good production line going on. He's got a good economy. He's got a good production. He needs to work on his micro. You can see that he is taking unnecessary losses. Ray works on his micro, and he is going to be just a fearsome board player. Um, he's just losing the stuff unnecessarily here, and that is what is costing him um, time on his win. So they look to be trying to, again, take out everything. Um, the, that is definitely a prime sphere. You can see just how much the energy went down on this guy. Looks to be still going down. Um, and really, I would be expecting a GG here very shortly. Uh, <laughs> Durr putting up a heavy weapons platform. This is not a bad shot. Going to be able to take on some of these dice, but the this sphere here... Um, is, again, the sphere is just not configured properly for the Klingons at the moment. They're really just in a tough spot, having no resources, not able to uh, really do much because he has no, no, he has no resources. Um, this one little constructor ship, all just huddled next to the heavy weapons platform, now this heavy weapons platform is just a wonderful, nasty, ugly little thing. If you're on the, uh, if you're on the receiving end of it, it just deals out a ton of damage. It just has nasty defensive with his uh, armor plates, and um, you just don't want to tangle with it if you've got small ships. So, in the meantime, Ray 32, 320 is moving up into a second sphere. This is going to again possible. Let's take a look at what sort of configuration he's he's fielding here. Again, uh, looks like beam with um, prime and um, I, I really think that this should be a regen torpedo uh, three regen and one torpedo to take on the starbase and uh, we shall see here at the moment uh, he does, again Ray having a decent fleet needs to work on his micro and um, let's get a move on. Durr not giving up, trying to move into an expansion, looking to maybe get just a little bit more in resources going. He is um, still don't know what Durr is going to do. He is having to build from scratch. Now, so here come the Borg looking to move into the base, hopefully going to put a lot of pressure on Dur here on some of his buildings, take them out. Um, I really think that the spheres could siege from out this part, uh, from like right around this distance, stay out of the range of this station, and take out both the field yard, all the mining, and this field research and so that could really just c completely cut out the legs. Again, this Doga dice taking just fire that it doesn't need to be taking. These Dokas need to be just outside the range of that starbase, unless he's wanting them to soak up some of the damage that could be coming to the spheres. Um, okay, so he is moving away this medium and getting out into sort of a siege range for these vessels which, you know, is long and or medium. Uh, this sphere can actually move in, take a couple hits, and not really worry too much about it. And and really, this is this is the end game. The, the Klingons are going to end up losing everything about the station, but um, that is going to eventually be rectified, because way back over here, you can see another sphere on the way. And uh, the the Borg Ray trying to move in, try to needs to at least put some um, maybe a low movement autonomy and just stop them right there, and that way he would be able to take it without taking damage. But as it is, he is moving his ships and getting damage. So this is really what, uh, since we're obviously nitpicking here, this one ship taking too many uh, too many hits. But um, again, Ray has the game. So interestingly enough, I've actually never seen 
a weapon, some of these uh, single weapon uh, subsystem repairs don't seem to take out the shields. The shields do tend to uh, seem to stick around a lot longer. And that's quite interesting. Um, you would almost expect them to have uh, higher subsystem. I guess it does make sense to have higher subsystem durability um, because they are shields, but it's uh, not uh, not completely expected. So you can see the the Borg are moving in on the station, trying to get a leg up on it. If, if these Doka dice could disable the weapons, and they have, so here they need, oh Klingon is able to quickly repair that. Uh, and the Doka dice are putting the pressure, keeping the uh, station down. So no, he has Borg are do have the advantage here, and they're moving away. Um, A Doga die taking, getting eaten by a heavy weapons platform. Beware the heavy weapons platform. And um, Borg trying to move in on this. Uh, beam spheres, not giving him exactly the. I really don't think it's giving him the ability he wants. Um, the, the the DPS he needs on this, and uh, over here in the meantime, uh, Durkom at least giving uh, Ray a little bit of something to think about. Ray needs to uh, just ignore that over there because he has the he has the upper hand. Taking this out is going to completely cut Dur's legs out from underneath him at the moment, and um, let's see here in the process. And uh, at least Dur is going to have a little bit of fun over here on Ray's expense. But again, these resource assimilators are nasty, uh, nasty durable. And uh, they'll just hang out here and, and they'll just take it. Ray, in the meantime, uh, taking his time, really, in uh, going after going after non-priority targets. So, they're going to move this guy into this nebula, probably to do a destruction. Uh, just try to end the game a little bit quicker. And, um... You can see even that uh, this one cube edge not able to do much anything. So the Klingons going to move on out. And the Borg really have the advantage here where they could just go into the base and just knock it out. So... Uh, another sphere on the way here very shortly. The and in the meantime, Klingons moon away, Borg hanging around. Um, so at this point in the game, I I'm really going to call this as a as a GG for Dur. I mean, he's he done a great job, um, especially that part in the middle where he ends up taking on that. Borg fleet and taking it out with that vet cavort, but the the turning point uh, was when he lost that vet cavort. Um, he had a chance at that point in time. It was going to be hard. Really would have had to been playing just like top notch, but um, the the loss of the vet ended up uh, shutting that door for him. And here come the Borg, moving in on uh, moving in on the Klingon starbase here very very shortly. Four beam spheres, a nod. Uh, odd little choice because it can't direct its damage too very well. Um, but nonetheless, he is just going to have enough sheer numbers to take down the star base. And if these dice do manage to take out a couple subsystems, that'll be. Uh, you can see that the weapons have gone down. Those Doka dice. Uh, doing a really good job of just helping mitigate the DPS from that station. Um, but it does manage to end up taking out a couple, uh, one of these Doka dice. Um, I'm going to suggest, yep, and Ray is doing a good job moving away right here. And the station is going to end up losing its crew if it doesn't lose all of its hull in the process. Ray needs to stay here, finish the job. And uh, be done with it. 
So, as this is pretty much the end of the road, I will uh, keep the video running, but I am going to sign off. I um, will see you guys.